everyone to our morning track number two. Uh, we're going to talk today about new thinking on surveys, visualization, sampling, and deliverables. So um, the first, uh, I'm, my name is Patricio, Patricio Pagani. Um, people ask me where I'm from, and it's kind of complicated because I, I've got, I come from an Italian family. Uh, I was born in Argentina. Uh, ten years ago, I moved to New Zealand, and I'm giving a speech in Amsterdam. So uh, I guess I'm from Argentina. Uh, I work at a company called InfoTools. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, InfoTools in a second. And I, I'm going to chair the session. And I've asked, because our time is quite short and there is no, um, there, there is no time in between presentations, uh, we're going to try to make the transitions quite quick. Uh, and also, I've asked the speakers to give me a fun fact that nobody knew uh, about them as a way to introduce them. So I'm just going to say the name of the speaker, their company, their, their title, and then a fact, uh, fun fact that nobody knows about. OK, that, that's uh, the way we're going to run this. So um, the, the fun fact about me, I guess I should, I should introduce myself uh, as I'm introducing the rest of the speakers. Uh, I, when I moved to New Zealand, uh, I've always liked music, and I, I used to have a, um, a band when I was in Argentina. But it was the twice I tried uh, musical theater. So I, I played in uh, My Fair Lady and I played in The Beauty and the Beast. So that's something that not a lot of uh, people in the research community knows about. So uh, the first uh, presentation of the day is called PC Visuals. And it's a story about something that we co-created with one of our biggest clients, uh, Coca-Cola. We uh, at InfoTools work with Coca-Cola around the world. Um, and they had a challenge that they came to us with. And together, we came up with a, with a new service for them. And I'm going to take you through, uh, through that journey. So the, the story goes, in the 12 years we've been working with Coke, uh, their needs and the way they look at the market research uh, has been changing quite a lot. So they have traditionally and always been a really heavy user of market research information. Uh, this is a quote by the former head of uh, research for Coca-Cola, Stan, Stan Unatham, um, who's also a good friend. And I'm, and I'm, I'm an ex-Coke employee, so I, I started my research career at Coke. Uh, he says, information is power, but sharing information is superpower. So the story today is going to be about how you share and spread the information that you're gathering in your market research um, studies. So every year, Coke does uh, quite a lot of strategic thinking in terms of planning ahead for the, for the year, uh, creating their business plans, looking at portfolio analysis of their brands and white spaces, et cetera. And also, with the market research information, they work on a more tactical level, uh, adjusting their advertising, uh, looking at how promotions work, et cetera, et cetera. So they're really heavy users of, uh, of the market research information. Now, where we fit in the, in the mix is if you think of the value chain of a research project, we don't, we don't do any data collection. That's being done locally by the partners that Coca-Cola has. So uh, it's either the big multinational companies that do the field, or sometimes they work with small agencies. We get the, we get the data, and we aggregate it uh, at InfoTools. And then uh, that's pushed out to, to Coke so that they can analyze it. Now, that was the way we used to work 12 years ago. If you think about Coca-Cola for a second, uh, and you go back 12 years, uh, they, their, market, their, their business was a lot simpler than it is today. So it was basically single product focus. It was all about carbonated soft drinks, pretty much everywhere in the world. This is when, when I was at Coke. The, the only thing in the fridge was carbonated soft drinks. We had a water, but it was terrible. Uh, but the, the, the other thing is their, their research team was quite large. And they call themselves the, the dream team. 
they had a big research team. They had pretty much the same data needs because the, the market reality was relatively simple in comparison to what it is today. So the users had similar data needs. And th the sum of all these means that they had a lot more time to interact with the data. So they, they had a big team with a simpler market. They had a lot of time to interact with, with the data. So we like, like I said before, we organize the, the data that they're gathering and we put it together in a, in a, in a platform. So uh, the idea is that their analysts, rather than spend the time uh, organizing the data before they run the analysis, the, the, the data is already organized. All they have to do is do the analysis. Um, but moving forward, in the last four or five years, their needs have changed significantly. So how have their, their market changed? Well, they're now playing in a number of, uh, in a number of categories. Uh, so the, the, the market reality is, is really, really different. And not only that, they were the leading uh, brand in soft drinks, but they're, they're the challenger or the third or the last in many of the others. So marketing wise, the challenges are quite different to what it used to be when you were the leader. So not only that, the research team started to shrink. So when before every market used to have five researchers, right now or for, for the last five years, there's only one or maybe two. So there are still analysts looking at the data and doing the crunching, but there are only a few ninjas. Most of the users are a lot more, more basic than that. Another challenge for us. Um, so the decision makers were asking the research teams who, who are our clients, uh, we need an easier way to, to get into this data. We, we don't just want the reports because we want to do some thinking, but it needs to be a lot simpler than that complex analysis tool that you have. So single visualization platform is something we started to discuss with them. Um, they, they, they were saying they had no time for deep analysis, so instead they wanted to focus uh, on, on exception reports, so get the system to tell me what's happening rather than me having to go in and find out. Uh, so the problem for info tools was the tools in the info tools were not this, right? So we had a, a bit of a gap and Coca-Cola came to us with this, uh, with this challenge. This was the brief that they put together and uh, we work with them in, in 90 plus markets and there's some that are more innovative than others. The, the case study I'm gonna share is with, was with Brazil. So they were some of our more advanced users and they got together and they did this brief for us. Uh, and they said, you're not, you're not gonna get this business, we're gonna pitch this to our internal IT department because it's kind of a visualization dashboard solution, but we think you probably can do it better. But this was the brief. So, Different, uh, different user profiles. So we had the research ninjas, we had marketing using the interactive uh, visualizations, and top line reports for top management. So information at three levels. And except for the analysts, the other groups were a lot less engaged with the, with the type of data we're analyzing. So they have less time uh, for analysis and more decision making time. Uh, they needed that single research platform. They needed guide rails because market research data is not like sales data. Sales data is a number. You, you don't need to think too much. It's either up or down. Market research data has a lot of complexity. So if you start to drill down into a target, you may run out of sample size and then you have to stop your analysis because your conclusions are not gonna be valid. So it's not that any dashboard could handle that. It has to be fine-tuned to market research data. Uh, ex exception reporting uh, and it more and more, they were looking at the results in tablets, uh, especially at the board level. So this had to be uh, tablet compatible. So how, how did we get there? It, we partnered with them to, to develop this solution. This was uh, an internal document that they shared, and these were the steps in the, in the process. So they were very engaged through the process, and this is why I, I call this, uh, this case study a co-creation, because without their help, we wouldn't have got where we are. It would have been impossible. 
they, they spent three resources working on these quite heavily to, to engineer the right solution. So they had interviews with the users to understand what they were getting, and the way this worked is these marketing users were using the analytical tool and populating their PowerPoint monthly reports and their business plans uh, on a regular basis. But that took a lot, on, a, a lot of time. So first thing needed was to understand what, what was that that was being created and to try to replicate it. So these, these were the steps. The output, and I'm going to show you uh, the, the product was called CCV Lite. So CCV is Coca-Cola Vision, that's our analytical tool, and we call this other one CCV Lite because it was a lighter version of, of that. Uh, this is how the, the front end looks. Uh, we, well they, decided that they wanted to enter the, the report or the, or the visualization through the brand. So these, uh, this really depends on the project, and after that we productized um, this solution. So it doesn't really need to be this way. Their teams are organized by brand, so it makes sense for the entry point to be brand. So when you click on Coke, you're gonna see all the different indicators of Coca-Cola. Now, I'm going to show you a demo, and I don't know if there are any Pepsi uh, people in the room, but uh, don't worry, you're not gonna see any Coke numbers, because I can't show you, otherwise they'll shoot me. Uh, I'm going to show you what this looks like, but on a more generic version. So I'm gonna do that quite quickly and walk you through what, uh, what that means. We've, we've since then called that Visualite, and it's an interactive uh, dashboard. This is what we created uh, for, for Coke. So say you go into your tracking study across the market, first look at your management uh, summary. So have a look at the executive view. Like I said, all of this is uh, market research fine tune so you will see colors and, and green and red, that's based on statistical significances, and if you get uh, lower than 30 or whatever you define, the numbers are going to go away. Uh, you can go back to the, to the tables, uh, change your references. It's, it's kind of an analytical tool, but at the same time it's a dashboard, okay? Uh, you can drill down into targets and, and change your target. In this case, they're, they're very generic targets because it's our generic demo. In the Coca-Cola case study, every brand defined their own uh, specific targets because the, the, the marketing team didn't want to have to filter males, uh, high socioeconomic class, uh, twin, uh, 12 to 19. They just had Coke target. Uh, what else do we have in here? Well, and then, then the tool has the ability to enrich uh, the story, so as you, as you navigate through the tool, you create uh, the story, you, they, they add the notes, and then this gets pushed into different uh, ways out of the system, so one of the ways is you send it to PowerPoint, and the notes become notes, and the charts become charts, then you can send it to a tablet, and people can look at it more statically, in, uh, in the tablet, or you can send the link online, and you've got the option of uh, giving the users the, the fil all the filters, or just the top line that you've created. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it there, because I, I only have uh, a few minutes left. The feedback from, from the users was quite good, uh, simple, friendly, I'm gonna go through this uh, quickly. What, this is another chart from, uh, from a presentation that they gave to top management. Before we did this with the, with the analytical tool, the, the brand teams were taking two days to create the reports. Every month, they were going through the charts and, and, and updating the reports. And since we've launched this, that now takes about 40 minutes. So there's savings in terms of what the, the output of the marketing team does every month was, was huge. Uh, well, that, that's the, the Coke story. We've since done it for a of our, of, our other, uh, of our other clients. And that's about it for me. We've got about three minutes if you want to ask any questions. 